super sweet like tonight at the red dirt talk to Carrie didn't change his mind or anything no no not at all he's pretty stoked in fact haven't seen him like this since the silver hand days what about Henry still not on board didn't even try not wasting my breath on that dick tip well so see you tonight and don't worry about your axe got the gear all rounded up all right Hello and welcome back to Night City and Cyberpunk 2077. I just finished up with Judy, as you saw, and I wanted to catch the recording of the intro to the quest line before we uh, got too far ahead of ourselves. So I think we can go ahead, pop this back onto that, and we'll find a fast travel point and pop right on over there. Should be easy. Breezy, beautiful, like a cover. That's the right logo saying franchise thing, right? Somewhere over here there is a fast travel. There it is. Get him the fuck out of here! Yeah, there's always next year. Sure, whatever. Alright, where are we going? This way? Why am I in combat? It's because of him? Do you want to fucking go? Huh? Jess? What's up? Nothing here in combat with me. I figured I'd square up. V out? Floating assets today. <clears throat> so I was actually thinking the other day. Well, yeah, the other day. Um, you know, there is one thing that Cyberpunk did really, really well that you almost don't notice. It's the way that the characters' mouths move. It's really fluid and dynamic, and it really looks good. I just, you know, thought about that the other day. Anyways. Hey, what's hey, up? Me. Hey. Hey. Got something for you. Do you know? Don't know if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhand. Oh my goodness. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whispered Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. The Blues Orpheon. Remember that samurai graffiti in Haywood where the bakery used to be? Uh huh. Got painted over a while ago. But yeah. Johnny was holding the Orpheon there. Nice one. Where'd you find it? like fresh off the shelf bought it private collection always like to have everything down to the last detail you was too obsessed at times but gotta respect her hustle where's carrie should be here any minute roger told me you play really well thanks better be true because there won't be a dress rehearsal <laughs> i got you i'd worry more about henry's replacement Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? Ain't he good? He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. 
Pill time, just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again... Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big nut. I've got a feeling Nancy didn't think I can keep up with them. Well, she's right. Rude. Ready to thrash? Hell yeah. Have fun. Strauss. Cutthroat. What's up? Hey, big fan. Huge fan. You too? Got all the albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed that. June. She's in the same boat as you. you Want to talk to the star? Talk to me. Get that shaking under control. I think my shake's the same. Or worse. Brad got you, Strauss. Fuck you. <laughs> and missed you too. Let's do this. Do it again. 
Huh? No. That was enough. In that case, here. Take it as a souvenir. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. See what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. can still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. That was the gig. Hell of a Samurai's found its new growth. Damn shame I had to miss it. There. You can still come to my show. No, oh, you shouldn't have. Really? The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me? Yeah. And early. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep. Woke up 50 years later. Back to work then. Hi. Right. Take care of me. I'll be in touch. No worries. Well, it wasn't so bad, was it? Too bad care's gone off. Guess he had somewhere to be. Badly. Probably writing a new song as we speak. <laughs> Isn't that what you wanted? To make him feel better? Better, but not that good. Johnny, don't ever leave me again. I can't live without you. A little of that could go a long way. <sighs> Hope that's it for last requests. Maybe. Now you get a chance to do what you will. Gotta go talk to Hanako. Fast. Okay. Your choice. Let's go. Not quite sure where there's a blue box in my vision, but whatever. Why am I not wearing pants? Okay, with Johnny. Taking off my cute hat. All right. So if I like give it some time, Carrie will call me and we'll do a bunch of side quests for him. They're kind of fun. So I think we'll probably go ahead and do that. Um, but in the mean... Twins! But in the meantime, I do need to find something else to do. Not entirely sure what that will be. Uh, let's see, what do we got here?
game. No, let's go ahead and load, see if we can get, back, get that bar out off the screen. Where's Mama Wells, huh? Oh, I can take Johnny's. Is it chat time? Come on, hit me with those girls' wisdom. Get the silver. You laugh, but 50 years in purgatory? Enough time for a guy to get his head on straight. And come to some conclusion. Namely, people don't change. Especially not people like Kirk. Well, I agree. I don't know. Am I lending Kirk cred for a new Kuroshi? Are we going into biz together? No. Of course something stinks. But in this town, you can't just wrinkle your nose and look at it. Gotta find what's stinking up the joint and why. Otherwise, I'll stick right in it. Came up in these streets, John. Oh, uh, let's see. That gun that I just picked up. It's a beauty, but it's real, real low level. Hey, sir. Been a while. Tell me what you want. Holy shit! Barely recognize you. See, you haven't changed. Not a single bit. Huh, you know me? I'm old-fashioned like that. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? So come on, sit down. I'll spill you the deets. Start talking. All right, all right. Listen, job's simple. Got a van standing not far from here, brimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. You feel me? Specifics, Kirk. What's in the van? Militech implants. Experimental series. Get you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab in Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Jesus, V, who the fuck cares? Once we take it, it's ours. So, can I count on you or not? Yeah, it sounds too good to be true. <sighs> fuck it. It's worth a shot at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts. See you at the spot. Later. I feel like I'm being set up again. Hey, back off. Hey, Dorp is here. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. Jum, fuck off. Or I plant my blade in your ribs. Really? Mm. You know what Mama Wells would say. What she'd do when she sees you two gongs fucking up her joint. My bet she'd whip out her shotgun. Hey, come on, baby. Yo, fuck you. Carajo. Fuck you, punk. What? What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? You would have caught a beat. This fucking town, these people, just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd. Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh. I bet he did. Circling him like sharks on a scent of fresh cocoa. Could have been bad in a few hours. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink with you? Hell yeah. Don't say no to a free drink. The 
good fortune and prosperity. Long day. Could say that again. I'm on a double. Right. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years, man. Ten years and suddenly I am not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Peso. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Named Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Good lady be the baby. Or I could get someone like you. And no more than an evening's work. Then I have to keep tabs on the way. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smoke like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. Today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And uh, she had a blue purse, I think. Beautiful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gone question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how he feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. All right, let's do it. Okay, fine, I'm in. You're my hero, baby. Means a lot to me. CD bars, betrayal, a beguiling woman. Sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Happy yeah, was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story: an unfaithful wife. In a city where everything is uncertain. You got done? I'm trying to focus. I will say, Johnny. Like, ow! Like the narration. Fuck you. If I didn't regenerate health at an astonishing rate, I'd shoot you for running over me. I arrived on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. <laughs> uh. This is gonna be a good goddamn fucking show. Uh, this is gonna be a good one, isn't it? Not her, I thought. No pink jacket, no guilt in her eyes. Oh, Christ, this is even worse than your songs. That's a war room, don't you think? It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Decided to step on her foot. Don't know why. Guess they don't call me a gumshoe for nothing. Doesn't even make sense. We want to kill someone to kill him, but not me. How long do I have to wait for her to walk? Seriously. The woman looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up, I'm gonna fucking puke. 
damn it, I didn't mean to... Uh. Even then, I'm still too fast. Santa Madre! The woman passes above, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Seriously, what did I ever do to you? Hey, this is not, this is a don't walk. Want to get hit? Beep, beep. Three mouths, one desire. The dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. Hey, sure, just walk right Don't through me. Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Don't go. Hey, careful! You tear the shirt! Well, well, well. Make sure nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. Wait. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist? In this dump? Look, I know I. I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on. A Shady Rebecca Ripper, Doc. Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But... Why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. Why not? I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but there was never a good time. And, and now that I'm expecting again, it, oh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't planned. Please uh, tell him, tell him that. Yes. I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself, that, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Right. This place is a fucking hellhole. Jesus Christ. Job's done. Followed your wife, went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way then? She was out of rippers, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. 
It's all implanted. Every single last part of it. So, my son. That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever. It's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See, that's more like it. Finally making some sense. Ah, uh, small man, big man. Let's ride. Got a van to hijack. GPS, are you drunk? <gasps> hey, hey, V, over here, Chum. What? Not your Chum. Yeah, sure. Just trying to be friendly. So. Not Chums, not friends. Biz, now. Okay, see that garage right there? Fans inside. Go in, grab the tech, get out, we split it 50-50. Clear? Scan the area. Anyone inside? All clear, V. Not a soul. Can waltz right in like you own the place. Thought this was a job for two. Looks like I'm carrying all the weight here. All the weight? All the fucking weight. Who's gonna keep watch? Me, of course. Anything happens, you'll know. <sighs> okay, and I go. Head on a swivel, right? You got it. And if you don't got it, I'm gonna punch your fucking head in. Let's do a quick save. So there's nobody there, so I'm just gonna walk in. They're all higher level than me. Like, by a lot. I'm just walking by, dude. Chill. Let's see if I can't utilize some stealth on this bitch. Dude, guy got dumped. Jesus Christ. Poor guy. Trying to be stealthy when I'm terrible at it. I used that Nope. 
¡Ay, cabrón! ¡Nos están dando en la madre! ¡Busco la pinche cabeza! ¡Oh! ¡Shit! Oh, okay, this one's gonna be tough. Can't you just walk in and beat them all up like I like to? Let's see. 700. Yeah? Are you threatening me? For real? We'll see about that. I give you to Santa Muerte. Remember me, you... Come here. Putis. Okay. Wheels are there. Whew. Jesus Christ, that was not an easy one to do. But this, uh... Oh god. This badass bat, on the other hand, made things a little easier. Close? Mm-hmm. Cheap knockoffs, too. Had real great intel, that Kirk. Like always, actually. But hey, could strike out on your own. Open up a stand in Kabuki, or maybe... Implants. Fucking Militech wear. Who shoved these duds right up his ass. Yeah, I am. Shit. Now a firefight. Wow, the fun's just getting started. Oh, Have a good time. Fuck. Oh look, another gunk. Oh, you like those combat implants, Chew? Gun owners are reminded <laughs> that the use of firearms mm, to very funny. To you. The fuck's going on here? You're Chew Kirk. Did biz time to time, but see, had this funny feeling he was trying to play me. Checked out that feeling. Told him I had a transport. Cream implants, just sitting there for the taking. And I waited. See, the prank worked. Yep, sure did. Isn't that right, boys? I should splatter your brains on the pavement, but I'd just be wasting lead. Only a fucking gonk could run an op with Kirk. Hey, don't give me that face. You are what you fucking do. So say it. Say you're a gonk, little bitch, and I'll let you live. How about a little joke instead? What lies on the ground, pissing itself and begging for mercy? What? You. Ah, you just keep seeing your popo! Le voy a sacar el puto corazón! Oh, come on, I pressed my healing button. Damn it! How you like those combat implants, Chun? Hmm, <laughs> very funny. To you. The fuck's going on here? You have a degree in You're Chun Kirk. Good biz time to time. 
check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I should. Hey, Dope. How about a little? What? You. Big one. Um, I had a bunch of health there. I had like a bunch of health. The hell was that about? All right, if we're gonna do this, let's do this right. Backpack, consumables, health booster, stamina booster. Coffee, wontons. Wow, the phone's just getting started. Oh, Have a good yeah. time. Fuck. Oh. Check. See the. Yep. I should. Hey. How about a. You. Orale, preparate, fulera! You. Nice speech. Remind me not to invite you to my funeral. How about him? Gonna tell anyone to scrape him up and put him under? No one to tell. I think that's a good place to leave it. Fuck Kirk. Toodles.